Hi guys and welcome to an experimental video with Bluff Lake Nature Center. Thanks for watching today. We are going to see how soil separates into layers. So you're going to need a couple materials today. Um, you're going to need a some sort of container. This can be a bowl, a cup, whatever you want to collect your soil in. And then you also are going to need some sort of jar. So this can be a big mason jar, those big glass ones. It can be a plastic bottle. You just need to be able to see through it really clearly because that's how we're gonna look for our layers later. So first what we did is we went and collected some soil from Bluff Lake Nature Center. So if you guys wanna take a look at it, you can see there's things of different sizes. There's small things, big things, some rocks. I see some sort of bark sort of things in there. So there's a lot of different stuff going on in our soil. And so we've learned different things about how soils layer. And today what we're gonna do is see how that actually happens when we add water to it. So after you collect your soil and put it in the container, you're gonna add about two cups or a little more if you have a lot of, if you have a lot of soil into your water bottle. And then we are going to start dumping our soil into our water. Okay, so what we did is we made a paper funnel. So we rolled up a piece of paper, stuck it in our top, and we just did that so it was easier to scoop in there and so we didn't make such a big mess. And then Greg took our soil spoonful by spoonful. Sometimes we had to shake it out because it got a little clogged. Just do a little shake with your funnel. And now we have successfully put all of our soil into our water bottle and we're ready for the next step. Okay, so once you've got your lid back on your container, you are going to begin shaking your soil up. And so this is really going to get everything mixed up in there and make sure that we can see it separate extra good. So I'm going to shake for about two minutes now to make sure everything's incorporated. Okay, so after it is all shaken up for two minutes, this is where we just leave our soil bottle to see what happens. So we're gonna let it sit for about two hours and we'll check in every half hour to see the progress on how our soil has separated. Welcome back. It's been about two hours since we first put all of our soil into our jar and watched it settle. And now you guys can see that there's a big difference. After we took that time to let the soil layer, it's in those different sediment types. So at the bottom, we can see if you look closely that we have our sand, our gravel, our rock layer. And at the very bottom, those rocks are going to be larger because they're heavier and heavier things settle to the bottom more. As you go up, there's still more layers of sand and gravel and rock, but they're gonna be finer layers. So our lighter rock, our smaller bits of sand. So it goes heaviest, biggest pieces to lighter, lighter. And then we reach this layer, which is a completely different layer. And right there is where we're gonna see silt. So that's where we see what comes from that dirt, that dead soil. We've got those silt pieces here forming this smaller layer. And then we have a layer more of soil. So that soil that we took from the beginning and it was kind of really dark and it had all those nutrients in it, that settled in this big layer here. The next layer we find is a lot lighter and that's our clay layer. And there's still some clay in here. We'll check back in overnight after this and see if this clay completely settles out. But clay holds a lot of water in it. So it's taking a while for that layer to settle but it's right up here. We can see that lighter band of clay is settling here. And then at the very top, if we look, there's a huge gap here. 
and we've got some stuff floating at the top. And if you look closely, this stuff is organic matter that hasn't yet broken down into those soils. This stuff is the alive, maybe it used to be alive layers that are just sitting up here. So we see a lot of, I see some sticks. Um, I see some leaf particles that haven't broken down yet. And those are our two biggest things. I even see something that might, there might be some bugs and other things like that in this layer too. So this is gonna be all your organic matter at the top. And that's our lightest layer, which is why it's kind of floating on the surface of that water. And so we'll check back in with a photo in 24 hours and see if we've got even more layering.